Welcome back to my channel. Now, this video is all going to be about the Festool Domino and the problems people have with misalignment when trying to line up your material on your workpiece and problems we come across with a Festool Domino. Now, I've got a couple of simple things you can do to stop you having issues with it and to help you not to have the problems that I've had in the past with a domino so you don't have an absolute nightmare when you come to use a domino for your first time. So there's a couple of things we can do to help us out. Now here in the UK we have 18 mil stock sheet material. Now MDF comes in 18 mil, play comes in 18 mil, we all know this. But the one biggest problem with a domino that I have found personally is the fact that 18 mil isn't on the domino you've only got a 20 mil setting now the next setting up from 20 mil or the next setting down is 16 mil so if you look by here can you see we've got 16 20 is the next step up so the problem we have with that is is when using the domino machine we've got to keep an eye on what the face is because when you cut on 20 mil it's not bang on centre, so I'll do a couple of cuts and I'll show you the difference where it doesn't line up. So jumping back to the domino now just to show you, these are the settings we have got. That's nothing, then we have 16mm and then we have 20mm. So that's what's causing one major misalignment problem of people trying to use the domino and it actually puts them off using the machine. So this is the simple answer that I have found to stop one of your misaligning problems. Now, it's a little tiny thing, look. Here it is, it's got the readings, the scales and everything on there that we need. Now, all we've got to do is change this in the domino and on here, we have 18 mil. And that's what is going to stop you having one of the misalignment problems. I will show you the other ones, but this will stop us having one. So it's got normal sheet material used in the UK on you. We've got 12 mil, 15 mil, 18, 19, 22, 25 and 40. But the biggest one for me is the 12 and the 18, which is the most common used material, stock material, sheet material, so sorry, that we use in the UK. This is all we are swapping out. So we're just going to change this small little tiny scale, which is going to tell us the height of the domino. And we're going to take out the old one by here, which I think is only just one screw. And you put this in and all our problems are gone. So standard practice we're using the first tool domino is you're always marking your face. So I'm just going to chuck a simple mark in the centre here. That'll be my face. So we're going to have a domino here and a domino there. We're just going to use the uh, side stop on the side of the domino. And um, we'll just pop the dominoes in. We'll keep the faces all the same just to show you. I'll pop F on there for face. Normally I do use D for domino where I'm going to put them. And um, we're just going to use the 20mm setting on you. Plunge all the holes in quickly for you. And I'll show you them line up then and I'll show you what happens when you turn it the other way around and you've got the misalignment is the big problem. Then we're going to swap this out. We're going to check go on to the 18 mil setting and I will show you another misalignment problem that people have a problem with. And you can see both problems that we come across. OK. We have now cut the dominoes. I've got two identical pieces. I think one is just slightly longer by a mil, but what I've done, I've cut the bigger dominoes just to align it up. So we've got the face marked, as we can see. All right, we will pop the dominoes in here quickly, which I will speed up, and I will just show you the problem of misalignment. Now, as you can see, we're on the 20 mil setting. All right. I don't know if you can see these two, which I'll take the camera off and do it now. But they are not bang on centre of this. As you can see now on this video, you can see that it is not bang on centre. We've got a thicker side and we've got a thinner side. We're going about doing our alignment now. So, this is our faces as we I showed you earlier. There's this one. There's this one. We marked them. I put the X's on. I did have a different piece, but once you go ahead now, 
can pop these in. That's lovely and flat, look, see? Don't know if you can see that on the camera, but that's nice and flat, and that's keeping all the faces the same. Now, you can run a domino on this 20 mil setting all day long, don't get me wrong, but there's going to be a time, all right, that you have the misalignment problem, because trust me, it bloody happens, I've been there. So what most do, or have the problem, is they glue it up, you go like this, obviously you tap them in, all right, and then you've got this nonsense going on then. Obviously, as you can see in the video, there's a bloody lip there. And that's what you're trying to glue up. So here's the misalignment problem. All right, you've got the top sticking up and you've got the bottom. So let me just get that on camera, tap out the zoom. Can you see the difference in there? It's a couple of mil, see? So obviously changing over to this 18 mil setting, one is great. Obviously, So this is all we are doing. We're just going to take out this one screw, which is a Torx 10. Okay, loosen that off. So it's just a simple procedure. All we do is clip this piece on here, just sliding it on. Once it's clipped in, we just put it in there. It drops into place, and then you can just screw your T10 screw in. So all we are doing now is we are getting this screw into here. I'm trying to do it without blocking the camera for you. And that's going in lovely now. So we've now accomplished that. So let me see if this is in view. There's a tiny little lip by here. Can I point at it? Just in between the 18 and the 19, look. There we go. Can you see that there on the camera? So when you bring this all the way back, it's a little stop and it stops it from pulling out of here. So all you've got to do is fit this in any position and you can't go wrong then. So whatever setting you put the domino on, it isn't going to affect the way the machine works, and that's that. So we're just going to punch the new dominoes in on the 18mm setting. Right, these are the ones done on the 18mm setting. Now, as we can see with this, these look much more central. So I'll just chuck the dominoes in now, and we'll see how these align using the face and the other side. Right, for the 18mm alignment, I'm going to cut two dominoes on here now, and then we're going to see how they line up. So then we will align them up with our marks, and then we're going to see how these go. Do you know what? That's lovely, that. There's both sides. It would need a very, very mild sand, I would say. So there we have it. Let me just show you. There she is. There's a tiny little, I'd say, not even a quarter of a mil, say, which is nothing. That could be the stock. So then we will turn these. All right, there's one. Spin this one. Let's just say we didn't realise what our face was and now we're going to put it all together and let's see what it does. I can't do it actually because these ain't in line in the middle. So if I can take the middle one out. I've just taken the middle one out because I didn't mark the lines bloody central, which I wish I did. So we've got this piece and this piece. We're just going to spin this around and we're going to pop that in there. And do you know what? That's worked lovely as well. Got a little tiny, tiny, hardly nothing. Obviously, that'd be in a bit more of a line. It's a bit of a bow in there. But you know what? That is a little game changer. So, just changing over to the 18mm metric domino gauge is an absolutely game changer for me. I have got slight mild lippage that was sand and you wouldn't even notice the difference. But apart from that, it's absolutely great. So, it doesn't matter what side you're using it. But you're still better off marking your faces still because it would be nice to know that you've got a face you're working with. But as you can see, look, it's not bad. There's a tiny quarter of a mil if that you'd sand. But you're always going to sand anyway before painting MDF. So that's great. The alignment works with this. Now we go on to the second misalignment in this video. And I'll show you the second problem people have with the domino. 
So this is problem two, which some people will come across. When using a domino, you need to make sure your workpiece overhangs. Because when you place the domino machine onto the workpiece, as you can see, the actual domino, the bed of the machine, is actually lower than whatever you're cutting. Now that only, it only goes for using 18 mil stock. So you couldn't set up a bench right with stops, have your workpiece here, and you couldn't domino here. Can you see this slight gap under here? I'll zoom in a bit to show you. So if I place this on here and started plunging into the workpiece, can you see the dominoes not actually, it's not engaged to the timber that you're working with? The sheet material, see, it's got a bit of a rock and it's got a gap. So what you can do then, you can plunge cut into here. You can either tip it up or tip it down or whatever you're doing. And you're going to get a misalignment then on the workpiece. Right, I'm hoping you can see this now. When using your domino, see, on the 18mm setting or on the old 20mm setting on the old gauge, when you put this machine up to your timber and keep it flat, there's a slight lip under here. Now, the bed of this sits lower than the 18 mil stock. So whenever you're cutting, you've got to make sure it's overhanging. Because if this bed's touching whatever table you're working on, you're going to cause a misalignment by about a mil and a half, two mil. And if I hold it flush at the bottom, you can see there's a slight gap there on the domino. And that's problem number two, a misalignment. Now we have come to the third and final misalignment problems with dominoes. Now when using your domino, you cut your first dominoes on the smallest setting. Now as you can see when I've been cutting these, we've got one domino hole which is a standard size and the second hole we've extended. Now on this machine you've got three different settings so we'll widen the domino holes and all that does is allow you to move your workpiece while gluing it up so you don't have misalignment issues. And it's a common fault with some people where they think they can get it all nice and tight and dialed in and you only want to be a couple of mil out and then the problem you got is a slight lip. So when gluing up then, if you cut the deeper and, well not deeper, the longer holes, when gluing up, you can just tap them all nice and flat. Job done. Line them up. And that is it. Job done. We've gone through the three different problems in this video now. So obviously the first one was the depth gauge, changing that to an 18mm to eliminate the lippage problem and the alignment and everything. The second thing we went across is obviously always have your workpiece overhanging off the bench to stop the bed from making it tip upwards or downwards and causing angler dominoes to go in the workpiece. The third and final thing we spoke about in this video is making sure you always do the wider domino cuts because that always gets you out of the nonsense of having anything misaligned. And that's it for this video. I hope you all got something from it. I hope you learned something. I'm just telling you problems that I've had and how I've come across them. It's cost me money, obviously, because I've had to redo pieces. I hope you like this video. If you give us a like and subscribe, that'd be absolutely great. Make me more make videos and everything for you. So, yeah, until the next video, goodbye.